Hello YouTube, Buggy Beta here back with another video. Today we are going to discuss about 10 must have apps for uh, your PC. It would be better if it's a new PC brought from store or a resetted one. It would be recommended. You might already know about the apps which I am going to discuss about. So watch this video until the last and discover new apps which might be useful to you and make your PC run more efficiently. So first app we are going to discuss about or application software whatever you say about that. So first one will be Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a popular and fastest browser that I have ever known and mostly 99% of the internet users will prefer Google Chrome to any other browser. Even if the Microsoft claims that Edge is far more better one. Download link for the Google Chrome and all the other softwares I'm going to discuss will be linked down in the description below. Moving on to our second software, Internet Download Manager. It is also an impressive software. It's a download manager, the best download manager I have ever known. At first I used to use DAP uh, Download Accelerator Plus, which was very you know ugly and wasn't that good at downloads. So I switched to Internet Download Manager. Since then, it's my download manager. And it has features like uh, grab files from a URL and it's not a free software it's a paid one you have you can try this out for 30 days and if you like it you can surely have a premium copy let's move on to a third software which is WinRAR WinRAR is a best compression tool ever it's a must-have software it has this new feature RAR5 which is very very good you should check that out if you are not aware of WinRAR then you must be familiar with 7-zip or uh, KGB archiver. So yeah, they all function the same, but I think the WinRAR is the best and uh, it's user friendly and very nice. And uh, our next software, number four, will be M Hotspot. Well, it's an optional one. Well, it's not a requirement. It will be helpful when you have only wired connection. It's a, basically a hotspot creator for a PC where you can create hotspot uh, using M Hotspot. Just need to have to enter SSID, the name, what you want to give your connection to be and a password for security and just need to select your internet source in my case it's ethernet as i'm using a wired connection you can select how many devices will be able to connect with your hotspot and uh, just need to click start hotspot and your devices are connected you can save money and time and our next software fifth software is jing jing is a screen capture program which is far better than inbuilt sniping tool more than a screenshot it also can capture videos it's secure you can log in and uh, you need to have an account for that it's a free software it's worth having a look at it worth the download the links down below uh, let's not waste any more time our next software the sixth one is power dvd ultra well you need to have a media playback software to play movies and uh, videos you have you might be saying why power dvd ultra uh, game player everywhere it's a good one but i will say no yeah game player does a good job it used to do uh, a year uh, two years ago uh, now it's full of ads and uh, i don't know some some kind of bugs it's really really uh, not safe using uh, game player i think it's using all the data you are having in your computer so it's better to use power dvd it's a paid software but still better having this one because it supports mostly all formats and dvd formats and our next software seventh software is Power ISO. As the name suggests, it's an ISO file manager used to create ISO files, burn ISO files, and uh, you can do similar stuff like Daemon Tools does. But it has more functionality than uh, Daemon Tools, so I'd prefer Power ISO to Daemon Tools. And uh, next software, or eighth software, is it's not a software, just it's a download requirement. It's DirectX. Well, you might be thinking, why DirectX? It's inbuilt in uh, Microsoft OS that's Windows OS Windows 10 has DirectX 12 built in but it's not the case DirectX 12 is a version of DirectX and you need DirectX SDK to run many of the apps that you want to use and many games require DirectX SDK so it's just an installer I'll link that in the description you just need to download the installer and accept the terms and conditions you can download the sdk it's around 98 megabytes download it and a restart so that's all about direct tech and our next software is video to video converter well as the name suggests it's a video converter which can largely compile videos to any other format i truly speak 
any format you know just many profiles even the youtube profile hdtv profile apple android and other pc formats and it has bunch of other cool stuff and our 10th software the last one which is windows 7 usb dvd tool it's used to create bootable usb or dvd you just need to have to give the source for the iso file which you want to burn and the next it will do the things a simple software worth downloading and i have two optional softwares other than this 10 and one of them is it's not one of them it's bunch of software uh, one is adobe premiere pro and uh, adobe photoshop i do have audition i used to have it i haven't installed as it's a new pc so uh, they are very good editing softwares the last one is office 30 that is microsoft office 13 which is simply the best documentation software ever uh, i know many people who still use office 2007 2010 office 2013 is the latest stable software i only use powerpoint and word excel and OneNote. other than this for example i'll open the word it has really good tools integrated inside to make our documentation better our presentations better so these are the 12 softwares 10 plus 2 12 softwares which you need to have uh, it's my opinion this will surely help your pc run more efficiently and productively if you have any doubts please comment down below if you like this video please give a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.